Hey, what's happening? So today we're gonna um, start out with a simple chat bot. Um, being in the business industry and a, a technology guy, I always like to start off with a couple of basic questions. What's the opportunity or problem I'm trying to solve? Uh, what's my ideal solution? What's my perceived value of it? And do I see any perceived challenges? So uh, most of the videos that we have will start out like like this to actually know that we're doing it. So I'm not going to read every line for line. You can read that. But basically the problem we're trying to solve is I have a lot of PDF files and documents uh, that I have available on my website, but they're not readily available and they're hard to scan through. You know, 70, 80 pages is hard to look through on that stuff. So I'm um, trying to figure out a better way to digest that information. Uh, my ideal solution is I'm going to go ahead and create a chat bot. I'm going to take two different PDF files, put them in there. That way people can look at them. And my, my hope perceived value is uh, it allows our customers to be able to um, look up information 24-7 and to free up our customer service reps for more um, difficult and complex issues. And the perceived challenges is obviously QA. Once you read these things in, uh, there may be conflicts in the document you weren't aware of, and that's the kind of stuff you want to definitely uh, pay attention to. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pop into a little thing that I put together. Uh, it's just called Simple AI. Um, what this will allow us to do is it will, it's a quick framework to just take in some PDF files. So we're going to go through that one. You can either fork it or clone it. I'm going to go ahead and clone it. Copying in here. Uh, you can use any editor that you wish. Um, I'm, I happen to be using uh, VS Code. So I'll go ahead and pop VS Code in there. And there's a little option called Clone Git Repository. Uh, if it doesn't show up on your welcome screen and it, it kind of looks like that, you can always just go to help, click on welcome, and pop it in there. This is just a super easy, convenient way to get it going. Uh, you click it in there, paste it into the bar, go ahead and hit enter. Uh, go ahead and pop it into any of your directories. I'll go ahead and pop that in there. All right, now we're ready to go. Uh, basically, now you have your code. Go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, you have your um, basic files. There's basically only two. Um, I don't know why I keep saying basically. Sorry about that. Now I'm stumbling on a word to come up with. You, ba <laughs> you have some files to go through. A data import and then the command line uh, to test out the stuff. We have two different uh, file folders and stuff like that that we'll go through here. So going back to the GitHub um, README, um, we're going to go through this. You do have to have Python 3. Uh, we did go to the repository and pull down the data. We do need to run your pit commands. If you haven't run that, you just click over here, run copy. Uh, let me get this a little smaller so I can navigate. Uh, let's get this larger. Uh, of course, never works out really perfect. Anyways. All right. So I want to go through here. You pop into a terminal window. Go through. Run your pip commands. Uh, you can either run pip or pip3. I don't know whichever one you're used to using. Uh, pip3. All right. there so I can access it uh, after that you're gonna go ahead to you do need an open AI key and to access an open AI key um, you can just click here or your platforms so you do need to sign up for some of this stuff um, to get up your API keys um, from here you're just gonna go ahead and create a secret key call it whatever you need uh, demo 24 I don't think I've done 24 but we'll go ahead and do this copy this key down and put it somewhere or hide it or do whatever you do, post it underneath your keyboard, whatever it takes, but you will never see this key again. You will have to recreate another one if you lose it. Um, from there, we go to, uh, da, da, da. from here we go, and we're gonna need to run an export command to um, put your key into the environment variables or you can hard code it in by running this command. So whatever one you like to do, I'm not a, I don't like hard coding things. Uh, even though the, the funny thing is when you see this, you're, you're gonna think that I'm hard coding it, but it's only uh, very temporary. 
you can grab this information here. Uh, cut and paste. Well, I don't know why I do it twice, but then if, if you need to, you can always just run a, a print uh, ENV uh, to check out your environment variables and your environment variable will usually pop into there. So you should be good to go on that one. Uh, next step, we're going to go ahead and clear out and delete some of the temporary files I put because of GitHub. It even says placeholder delete this, so um, you know what to do. Delete it. Uh, GitHub, if you don't put a file in there in, into a folder, it won't create it up in GitHub. And maybe it does, but I, I couldn't figure out what, what the deal was. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and move some files over into the data directory. So in the data, and there's two different ones, a storage and a data. We're going to move two files. I downloaded two different PDF files from a website, a penalty policy and regulations. Um, this allows us to uh, import both of these PDF files into the chatbot. Uh, and you'll see right here, that is a directory reader, but this is kind of cool. If you actually do go into, if you go into this this um, hub for um, Llama Index, you can find any type of uh, reader that you need. I'm I'm using a PDF reader. If you click on here, it'll actually show you the code to do it. In this code example, though, it only reads in one file. I wanted to read in multiple files, so I ran the, the other one. But this does allow you to read in different ones, like if you have a document or a PowerPoint or, uh, let's say, Gmail, whatever whatever one it is, if you just click on it, it will basically show you kind of how to do the loader. Um, so very convenient across any type of file loader you need. Um, once you get it over to the reader, it will go through, it will generate the information, it goes into the data directory, which is what I just put to, so it will read in everything, any file you do put in there. It will take those documents and create a uh, vector database or a vector storage um, and store it in there, and then it will persist it. I did want to persist it because if you don't persist the information, uh, it will go ahead and just uh, load it into memory uh, index it and then you process it and then every time you need it it has to re redo the process so that's something I did not want to do I'll uh, go ahead and run a Python 3 and this is called data import and we'll go ahead and run that uh, where's my and right here so we're gonna go ahead and we'll try to go back and I just ran this process right here and it'll usually take a couple of seconds to run it. Uh, pop there again. All right. So after this is done importing it, it is going through and reading all these. And you'll see now in the storage, I should have showed it before, but it was empty. This just now just got created. This is your vector story, your indexes, and everything needed uh, to process the request from the chatbot. All right. So now that this is all completed, Go ahead and close this. Um, I don't really need to save it. Uh, your app com. So at, at this point right now, we've already ran our um, our open AI key. This part right here is just grabbing uh, information from the command prompt. So I'm, I'm happen to be using this through a command prompt. If you build a website for it, uh, you won't need to have this in there. These are basically the only five lines of code that you will need to do this and then right here again we print out the information so from here you can ask it any question that you want so you can actually and again I don't need to have that open but I'll as it's as it's, as it's going through I'll do it Python 3 and then app, app underscore command and then from here it says that you wanna um, right here you wanna use your question in there so basically you want to Go through here and then ask it a question. How many 
days do I have have to get a photo on my LIST listing? Quote it. Uh, go ahead and enter. And this will go through and ask the question. It will go through it um, usually you know, less than 5 to 10 seconds when it's running. It will go through and answer the question. And basically, it comes back and says you have four days. Uh, so I, so then I can actually say, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see what another thing is. Okay, let me ask how the fine is. If I don't know what's going on here, my keyboard keeps locking up. If I don't, oh, what is the fine? I'll ask the fine because that was in the other PDF file. What is the fine for not having papers, having a photo on my uh, listing? So this is going to ask a question from the other PDF file that I did put up. So here it basically says that I have four days to go through it all. If I don't have something in four days, um, I do have a different, um, I, I should get up, there should be a penalty usually for it. And that should be it. And it go ahead and says the fine for not having a photo on a listing is 50 bucks. Um, this is, that's basically it. We can take anything that we want, put any files into our data directories. It will create our vector database. It will then send the information in my question with the relative um, similarities from the vector database, send the information to the LLM at OpenAI, in my case that I'm using, um, ChatGPT as most people know it as. And it will go ahead and respond to here. I can ask it any question I want, basically. And it now knows everything in those two PDF files, which I believe are around 70, 80 pages total. Um, so hopefully this helps. And enjoy. Have a great day.